or maybe from the fringes of SoCal or other regions, or perhaps might be coming back from online. So this is a more established part of the bracket. Mm -hmm. So getting into this, Roxas versus Love. Love is actually a Samus player from IE, and Roxas is actually Red Fox's kid, and he's also from the IE. So this is usually a classic match that we would watch. And getting into Fantastic Downer coming out from Roxas. What do you think about this matchup so far? Yeah, it's particularly interesting. There's a lot of mind games that can come from Falco's very good jump height plus his reflector. So Love has to be careful with how and when he wants to approach. The Falco Illusion just getting him in there, and but the great air dodge coming out. Yeah, there we see Lob being very careful, just making that space between the platforms his own, but Rox is getting things started with an up tilt. I would say the scariest thing in this matchup is the get off me type of options. If Falco gets in on Samus in, to a point where Samus can't really up B out of shield or do anything, that's going to be a lot of damage, a lot of up tilts, right? Ooh, but very. Samus keeping the pressure on with the bombs, with the missiles, and a untechable back air, baby! Yeah, very good contest on the Phantasm, and that point on, Love just played immaculately for about 10 seconds or so. Oh man, having the charge shot, but grabbing him out of that up tilt, it's kind of a funky way of uh, playing neutral in my opinion, but it's working super well. Yeah, had an opportunity there as Love went for that upbeat, but Roxas pulled the trigger too early. Oh wow, just trying to go for the back throw down air. I would say it's such a good option to keep everybody in check, and I want to see Roxas' edge guards. Yeah, we've already seen that Love is hungry for that second stock already. Doesn't want to wait until Roxas is at 100 or so. Watch the Ooh. stock now, and we'll get it with the charge shot. Dude, that is a fantastic snipe, but calling him out with the up smash. Roxas is still in the game. Fantastic parry, but nothing out of it. Yeah, full stock in the lead, though, and Love already chipping down onto Roxas' final stock. This is looking very grim. I would say Roxas is still very much in this. It's Falco. He could do a lot of comebacks. His combos do super, super well. He could kill really early. But getting in is the big, huge problem with Falco. Because Falco, you could beat him by doing one of three things. You could either outbox him, you could outspace him, or you could do his thing, and but better. And backer trading... Lob up a game. Yeah, simple but effective game plan for Lob. Saw that Roxas was really eager to get in multiple times, caught multiple rolls in, multiple hasty phantasms. And when you can't even get a combo started going, you're not really going to get off the ground as Falco. Mm -hmm. I really want to see if Lob's going to switch because he also has a Kirby, in my opinion, that's a lot more aggressive. But instead, Roxas opting for the King K rule. He plays actually, I believe, four characters. Banjo... K. Rule, Falco, plus Rob. Yeah, and when you think about the switch from Falco to K. Rule, a character with a completely different game plan, a character that might, of course, you're playing against him, so you do need to get in either way, but you will have different ways of doing that. I feel like K. Rule and Falco are a little similar by having counter hit moves. So Falco's being up to out of shield, while as K. Rule being just any button that gives him the armor. Just trying to suck him up right there with that neutral special, but nothing coming out of it right now. Does not drop through. Does get the dash attack, but just a bit late to convert into the cannonball. Oh! Ooh, calling him out with the back air. Rox is finally up a stock and in the lead. Already much better, and because of those armored moves, Lob just being forced to play from a distance here. Be a bit more cautious. You see Lob really like to go for those bomb down air type of conversions, but that's not going to really work on K. Roll because of that his specialized up B. Really, really hard to edge guard. You have to get below or to the right or left of K. Roll. Lob with that jump, but does make it back. One part of Lob's game plan that I am such a fan of is his use of the partial charge shots right there. Really Ooh. good at applying pressure, but when you're trading with K. Roll, that's when things start to get tricky. Oh, mate. Just missed the grab. Just was out of reach because of that roll. I'm trying to read that with a forward smash. Yeah, hard read in the other direction, thanking himself that he had just enough spawn and vulnerability. Ooh. This is so hype right now. <laughs> He's not going to make that back. He didn't make that back. That's so insane. I'm pretty sure he could have air dodged and zared, but it's... Rox is having so much momentum. Yeah, and for the second time this game, Lob being without a jump is going to cost him. Dude, these neutral, these neutral specials from Rox is giving him so much mileage. 
Armors right through the weak missile as well. Look, look at all these projectiles coming out. It's it's basically we're playing dodgeball on the <laughs> on the playground again. Roxas just staying grounded, getting below the Zare. Fantastic back throw, getting some stage control, seeing if he could read the high recovery again. Nothing yet. Fantastic downer, get him off stage again. Bob now just stuck in the corner, finds his way back to center. I would say what Roxas could do is he could play a little bit more passive. He doesn't really need to approach, but Samus is really, really scary of not approaching either. No, you're one stock in the lead. All you need is a single grab. Even a weak aerial might be able to do it at some point. Actually, a sour spot backer could kill right now for um, for Roxas. Tries to read that up tilt, nothing just yet. Tries to forward air. But now Love having uh, all the momentum back in his favor. Up B, 91%. Yeah, threatening the comeback now. Just had to get on the other side of the Wonder Bus. Oh uh, yeah, these uh, these bombs doing so much damage, just keeping Roxas off stage for a long, long time. Oh, he gets it. it! Oh, oh he got it! it! <laughs> Roxas, that neutral special is so so good. He's been utilizing that the whole time to call out Samus's jumps, and especially to call out Samus just standing there and trying to read with the up smash or with an F smash. It's crazy how good he is. They say Smash is a game of inches, and nowhere was it more apparent than right there. You saw how close he was to the blast zone. Exactly. Just that small little misspacing trying to read him with an up smash. Nah, you can't do that. I would say what Lob should do is instead of setting up for the bombs, try to go for a back air or a forward air that hits below or right next to K rule. Yeah, and going straight for that blunderbuss again, relying on the same tactics that just won him game two. You've, I've noticed, actually, these full hop down airs are really, really good for K. Roll. It's really fast, it takes up a lot of space, and if he does miss it, he still has stage control. But you see Lav playing a lot more aggressive now. It d doesn't opt to sit down and wait for charge shots, but proactively came out with the forward airs, came out with the up airs, and tries to bomb him even more at the ledge. Yeah, but there's only so much times you can get a jail with screw attack. Oh, almost gets a spike with the up tilt, but down tilt keeping him off stage and the mini charge shot. Not going to be doing it. 169. Yeah, couldn't Oh, that's a forward smash. Oh. Wasn't in a position to snap directly to the ledge, but that time the screw attack going to get the job done. Fantastic job from Love. That move is unstaled. He hasn't been using it that much this game, so he's able to use that as a pretty good kill option or a get off me option still. Yeah, vast amounts of coverage from Love here. Love's just going to fare out the corner. Uh, just losing out the missile game right now, but it's okay getting Samus off stage, seeing if he is going to high recovery again. Roll and screw attack. So much mileage off for Love. Yeah, but every time Roxas is just going high with a blunderbuss, you're seeing Lob attempting to get on the other end of it. Sometimes he has the space to, but sometimes just doesn't. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of see the weakness of the blunderbuss because it's a really good move, kind of close up to try to get the suction command grab. But, you know, if they're a million miles away with a missile or a charge shot, you can't really do anything about it. You're in stun. Yeah, force the jump with the missile and go straight for the read with that fair. Great conditioning from Lob. Ooh. Hitting him with the neutral special again, but 161. Samus is actually a really, really heavy character. I would say a back throw could kill out the ledge, but fantastic Nair and a down to conversion. 175. But at the same time, all of Roxas has been getting is these neutral Bs and side Bs, so it's really been staled out right now. Yeah, when you have a way to deal with Blunderbuss and Clown with or Crown rather, without even having to approach that much, it's just so valuable in this match. That should be the stop. Maybe Roxas just wanted to get that just because, you know, that's that's his favorite move too. I, I'm guilty of that. I like to use moves because they're my favorite moves sometimes. Going high above the ledge once again. Lov hasn't been able to hard punish that a lot, but he's forced the situation several times. He doesn't need to hard punish it. He just needs to reset the situation over and over again and just chip damage. He's playing the long game. For sure. Mm -hmm. And the long game, finally dash attacking. Not going to be doing it just yet, but the mini charge shot, 147%. Great job on Lav over Roxas.
Yeah, but a much deserved round of applause. You don't see too many sets with this many people in the standing room at the beginning of the wave, but yeah. much deserved for the way these two have been yeah. playing. And Red Fox hugging his kid, that's 